Okay, first of all, what you're not gonna do is have issues focusing on me today. What we're not going to do is have issues focusing, all right? Thank you so much, Canon. For so long, I just want to be a classy bitch. But I'm not. I'm not. Why are you struggling, bro? Over here, hello. Hey, hey, hi. Today we're going to be talking about the, the, <laughs> I ran out of words. The Makeup Revolution X, is there an X? The Makeup Revolution Emily Edit Palette featuring the YouTuber Emily Noel. Hey girl, how you doing? You probably not watching this, but Hey, how you doing? So I'm gonna show you me applying the eyeshadows first. And after that, I'll let you know the tea. I'll let you know if this is brown girl approved. So first I'm going to go in with the shade Midwest here. And then I'm gonna follow up with the shade Dews in the crease. Then I'm going to take this shade Family, this purple here, and I'm going to put that in a crease as well. So I'm going to use a smaller crease brush to really focus that color. Give me that definition. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Corduroy, which is this color here, and put that in the outer V. I'm going to go in with the shade Belle Violet and I'm going to use that on the crease. Huh? Not the crease, on the lid. <laughs> My bad. I'm going to go in with the shade Eve Rose in my inner tear duct. Then I'm gonna take the purple shade Family again and put that on my lash line, the bottom one. Where are my mascaras? Where are you? I first saw this in Ulta. I think I paid 20 bucks for it. And at first I was like, mm, mm. and I don't know why. I mean, the colors are very vibrant. They're they're PLC friendly, and by that I mean there aren't too many neutrals or too many shades that will show up muddy on our skin tones. I mean, there there are some nice colors in here. But for some reason I just wasn't excited. And when I put it on, I was like, oh, she cute, she cute, she cute, she cute. And of course, upon opening the palette, the first thing I noticed was the huge mirror. Hello. Can you say hi to yourselves? Say hello, hello. But this mirror is huge and I love it. I think just for the, the mirror itself, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> I mean, this is like, perfect for traveling like bro this is lit this mirror is lit okay makeup revolution is a cheap brand and they can give you this bomb packaging with the names on the packaging with the mirror too and you try some of these other brands can't this palette has a great color selection and i can really appreciate that because sometimes it is difficult to find a palette with so many colors that you can actually use and what ends up happening is that we'll buy a palette just for two or three shades or four or five out of like 15 and that's ridiculous ridiculous and i can honestly say like this palette the only shade i probably wouldn't end up using is this shade right here honestly and that is a shock a shock 
um and so like i can really appreciate that coming from emily um when I was applying the actual eyeshadow on my eyelids, I didn't have any issues with them blending with one another. The colors pretty much show up on your eyeballs as they do in the pan. So it wasn't like this beautiful teal color here and then coming up on my eyelids as a murky swampy brown. That's good. Like I said, I paid about $20 for this and you get 24 shades so it comes out to about 83 cents per shadow. If that's not a steal, I don't know what is. And I'm telling you, if I can use almost any shade in here except for this, I'm getting my money's worth. Um, the only real con I would say about this palette is that this mirror is pretty flimsy. I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost like not stuck all the way. I don't know if that's how they all are, or if I just have a faulty one. Um, but I would like to say that based on previous items I have from Makeup Forever, I would think that I just have a faulty one. Because for such a cheap brand, they actually do have pretty good packaging besides their big highlighters, which break all the time. Um, their eyeshadow pads are, are pretty good, so I, I, I would like to think that this is the only one with this problem. Makeup revolution, don't don't play me on that. That better be the truth. So that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll stick around to watch some of my other videos. <laughs> be sure to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy this content, and I will see you in the next one. Ta-da!